What's going on guys? Welcome back to another scooter video. My name is Chase Ross and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to cut down your scooter bars and install a slit. Today we have a pair of the Rapture Pro Scooters Yang 2.0 bars and this process is going to be identical if you have titanium, steel, or aluminum bars. Today we have a pair of titanium bars, so let's go ahead and jump over to this table over here, put some marks on the bars before we make any cuts. This pair of bars comes stock at 28 inches tall and today we're going to be cutting it down to 25 inches tall. Now we're going to go over the best steps that you guys want to do while cutting down your bars. So for starters, we're going to flip our bars upside down. This is going to be the best way to get the most accurate measurement for the height of your bars. A lot of times people, you'll see this little down swoop right here. You'll measure your bars from the bottom down here like this, and then you'll measure up to here, and that's not correct. You do not want to do that. Instead, you want to flip them upside down, get them flat on a surface like that, and then measure from the bottom to the top. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to lay our bars on the desk flat, just like this, upside down, we're going to take our ruler and we're going to measure from the bottom to the top. Now like I said before, this specific pair of bars is going to be cut down to 25 inches tall. So we got our ruler from the bottom, make sure we're flush, all the way up to 25 inches tall. Now we're going to make sure to go just the, actually a hair above it, that way when our blade cuts it's going to make it actually exactly 25 inches tall. If you put it exactly on 25 inches tall, your blade is going to cut it and then it's actually going to be like 24.8 inches tall. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that little dash just above 25 inches tall. That way our blade can cut it and then it'll be exactly 25 inches tall. But now that we've got the mark on our bars, we're now ready to start cutting the bars down. So let's go ahead and bring the saw over here and get to cutting. Now, like I said before, because we got this mark right here slightly above 20.5, we can actually take this blade directly down onto the mark and not have to worry about cutting it any shorter than 25 inches. So that's something you guys should definitely consider doing. Let's go ahead and throw on some gloves now and go ahead and get this thing cut down. Perfect, just like that. We now got the bars all cut down, but now we have all these crazy burrs that we're gonna have to take care of. We're gonna go ahead and grab our rag right here just so we don't scuff up our bars being in the vise. We don't wanna do that now. Let's go ahead and keep this titanium pretty fresh. All right, now we're gonna add the bars to the vise, tighten it up, and now we can start removing all these nasty little burrs on the outside. Now there's three main ways you can go about doing this. The first way is sandpaper. Now this way is gonna definitely take the longest. So if you got some hand files, that's gonna be the second way. You guys can use the files, you know, put it in there, file it back and forth, get those burrs all off. Now the third option is getting yourself a belt sander. If you guys do a lot of cut downs of bars like me, you guys can use a belt sander, sand it all around, get it all clean, nice and good to go. But for most people, you guys got hand files. So that's gonna be your way of doing this. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna scrape it all along, get all those burrs off to make it nice and clean. But for me, because I got the belt sander right here, it's gonna make life a lot easier, so I'm just gonna power through this real quick. All right, now that we got the burrs on the outside removed, let's go ahead and worry about these burrs on the inside. So we're gonna take a good old pair of pliers right here, and we're gonna start just getting these burrs out. Now, if you guys have steel or aluminum bars, these burrs are not gonna be a big issue. You won't have to really worry about removing them because more than likely when you cut them, they're not gonna be there. Just titanium is pretty special when it comes to cutting, so that's another reason we have to do that for there. All right, now that we got that all deburred, we're gonna take our good old hand file and just go around in circles real quick. All right, just like that, now we have the middle all good. We're gonna run the file around one more time around the outside. Perfect. Now, if you guys are writing SCS, you're done. Because you don't need a slit in your bars, you guys are now able to just slide the bars into your SCS clamp, clamp it up, and you're good to go. But because these bars are gonna be ridden with HIC, we're gonna need to add a slit into these bars. Now, I really wanna make an important step right here. 
your slit should not be taller than your clamp. If your clamp, for example, is 1.8 inches tall, your slit should be no taller than 1.7 inches tall. You always want to have your slit completely covered by your clamp. A good rule of thumb is, if you guys can see your slit at all through your clamp, you're not riding the right clamp. The reason for this is because you need your clamp above your slit. You want to have the slit completely enclosed by your clamp for structural support. It's going to prevent the bars from stress cracking and just overall make your bars last a lot longer. Now, let's talk about where we should be positioning the slit of our bars. Now you would think, okay, basically we're sitting with our bars straight like this, we're going to want to put it right here on the back side, right? Wrong. You're going to want to go on the side of the bars. So what you're going to do, you're going to stand about at a 90 degree angle right here and between me and the camera is where our slits gonna go. It's gonna go right here between the direct side and the direct back. The reason for this is because most clamps, actually every clamp, clamps in the back. The clamping pressure is the most intense in the back. So the way to prevent stress cracks on your slit from the pinching of your clamp is to move that slit from the back to the side. So let's go ahead and get these bars locked into this vise and we'll get a mark where we want our slit to be. Before we make our first mark on the bars right here, we first wanna know what clamp we're gonna be riding. Now this pair of bars is gonna be ridden on a Rapture Complete scooter, which means it's gonna be riding a Rapture clamp. And I know these clamps are 1.8 inches tall. If we pull a ruler up to here, you guys can do this to your clamps at home. You guys can measure and see exactly how tall your clamp is. This one, it comes in at 1.8 inches tall, which means our slit should not be any taller than 1.7 inches tall. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna measure it up and I'm gonna actually put the dot at 1.5 inches tall. Now the reason I'm gonna put it at 1.5 inches tall is because when we drill our hole with our drill bit right here, that drill bit hole is actually gonna go a little bit above an inch and a half. So that's gonna make up the perfect difference in space for our slit. Now right here I'm gonna go ahead and grab a marker. We're gonna make a mark on the side of the bars. Again, I gotta, I can't stress this enough. The slit needs to go on the side of the bars. That's so important. So we're gonna go ahead and put this dot right here on the side of the bars at an inch and a half. Perfect, now we're ready to drill the hole in the bars. When we drill our first hole, we wanna make sure that we start out with one of the smallest drill bits we have and then work our way up in size to get to our desired hole size. Now we're gonna be finishing our hole with the size one fourth. Do not ever go any bigger than the size one fourth. If you go bigger than the size one fourth, your hole is gonna be too big and it's gonna over consume your bars. So one fourth I found is the best optimal size for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our drill. We're gonna start with the nice small size drill bit and we're gonna go ahead and start drilling our hole. Now if you notice that your drill bit starts moving around on your bars while you're drilling it, one thing you can do is you can use either a screwdriver or a punch and just lightly tap it on just like this. That right there will leave just enough of a mark. That way you guys can set your drill bit and it perfectly just like this and it won't rock around on you. But now let's go and get this hole drilled. Perfect, we got the first hole drilled. Now it's time to start stepping up in size. Because we're drilling through titanium bars, stepping up in size is super important because it will dull your bits out if you just try to go for the biggest size first. So if you go for a size like this right off the bat, it's gonna be way too big and your hole is not actually gonna take forever to get through and your bit's gonna get dull well before it even gets through the material. So we start out with a smaller bit and then work our way up to a bigger size like this. Now if you guys have steel or aluminum bars, you probably won't have to worry about this so much, but titanium's pretty brittle so it's a little bit harder of a material to get through. All right, now we're approaching the last size. Like I said, do not go bigger than the size one fourth. Perfect, our slit hole is complete. Before we move our bars over to the saw, let's go ahead and draw a line right here just so we can have a nice little guide path so we know where the blade needs to go. Now the easiest way I've found to draw the line is to take something like a right angle right here and you see this little lip? We're going to take this little lip right here and put it just on the side of the bars right here. This is going to give us a perfect straight line when it comes to drawing a line on a circle. It's really hard to get a perfect straight line, especially if you're doing it by hand. That is just like not going to happen. So what we're going to do right here so we're going to put our right angle up against there like this, draw our line, we're going to draw just a nice thick line on here just so we can get, see it clear as day when it comes to actually cutting it. Perfect. Now we have a nice line that we can follow as a guide when we're cutting our actual slit. Now before we move the bars over to the saw over here, let's talk about this hole again. Like I said before, you want to make sure that your hole is just below your slit. So just like this, you guys can tell there is at least a quarter of an inch between the hole 
and the top of my clamp. This is going to be perfect because now your slit is fully covered by the clamp. Your clamp is protecting the bars. So if you have any questions about this, you guys can go down in the comments. And I'm always happy to answer any questions you guys have. It doesn't even have to be bar related. If you guys have a specific question that's scooter related, drop it down in the comments below. All right, let me give you guys one more tip now before we go and actually start cutting this slit. We wanna make sure that we're gonna protect this hole. So sometimes when you're cutting the slit, you can get a little crazy and the blade can get away from you and it'll nick the top of this hole. Now that's gonna completely disregard the whole reason why we put the hole here in the first place. The hole right here is to distribute weight and pressure. That way it doesn't start pressure cracking all around the top right here. So this hole, we gotta protect it. So I'm gonna take an old screw right here, place it right here, and then we're gonna grab some electrical tape, run it around the one side, and then we're gonna run it around the other side right here. And then we'll loop it back one more time. Perfect. Now right here we have a nice little protection of this hole, so if our blade gets a little carried away from us, it'll stop it right here before we actually get to the top. That way we don't put any nicks in the top part of the hole. This is only precautionary, you guys do not have to do this step, but this is something I just like to do because I cut so many slits each day and it just makes my life a lot easier. Now we're ready to go take it over to the saw and let's get cutting. Before we finish cutting the slit all the way, I wanna point, if your slit starts to go a little bit wonky and it starts going a little sideways on you, one quick way you can correct that is just by slightly angling your bars. So if you start going like crazy off the left, just take them back to the right a little bit and you can adjust the blade and width, like add some width to the slit. That way you're not going to have some crazy slit that goes onto the side of your circle. Just wanted to point that out before we finish this slit. But now let's go ahead and get this thing cut the rest of the way. Perfect. Ah, you gotta love the smell of fresh titanium in the morning. Nah, I'm just kidding. Titanium probably has one of the worst smells in the world once it's cut. It smells like fireworks times... 10,000. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this screw off this hole right here and then we're gonna put it back in the vise and we're gonna clean up the burrs just like we did before. We're back in the vise now and we're gonna take our good old handy dandy pliers and we're gonna get these burrs off because right here in the slit, there is so many burrs that form from titanium. So we're gonna just kind of wedge these back and forth and just crack them off because there's not really much holding this material on. It's just a pretty gnarly little burr right there. You gotta make sure to get rid of all of these. That way your bars can go onto your uh, fork and uh, you know not cause any issues. So let's get this other one on the other side off now. We're just about done now. So the last step that we need to do is get all these burrs off. Now you can use a hand file. We're gonna go ahead and use a hand file. And we're just gonna scrape away all these burrs. But for me, because I do so many of these bars, I got myself a nice little drill file. We're just gonna do that all around the top right here. At this point right here, you guys are practically done. But I always like to do one last little finish check, run my finger all around, make sure I don't feel any sharp burrs, anything that's gonna like basically keep your fork from sliding on perfectly, and uh, we don't want to nick our fork shims at all, so we want to make sure that everything's nice and smooth. I always like taking maybe a little scrap piece of grip tape right here, or just uh, some sandpaper, and just file around. I always like to use some scrap grip tape, just because it's sticky on the back, and I can stick my finger to it, and it acts as like my own little file. So I'm just gonna run my fingers up through there, and make sure I get rid of any last micro burr. One last little final check, rough it up, make sure it's all good, no sharp edges anywhere. Oh, that feels great. And just like that, our bars have now been successfully cut down and a slit has been added in. Now, I did not touch on cutting down the width of your bars. This is gonna be identical to cutting down the length of your bars, so I felt like it wasn't necessarily needed to be added into this video because it was kind of identical steps. All you do is cut it, file it, make sure there's no rough burrs, and you're good to go. But that right there is gonna wrap up today's tutorial on how to cut down your bars and install a slit. These were titanium bars, but like I said, you can also do this on steel and aluminum bars. The process is exactly the same. Now, if you guys don't wanna mess around with cutting down your own bars and adding your own slits, because I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely not the fastest process in building a scooter. If anything, it might be one of the longest ones. 
you guys can head to rapturepro.com. You guys can add the rapture bars to your cart. You guys can pick whatever size, length, and width that you guys want. And if you want a slit or no slit for SES, up to you. You guys can add that to your cart, check it out, and we will install the slit and cut down your bars just like we did today. But that right there is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys have any scooter related questions, make sure to drop them down below in the comments. I'll be down there ready to answer any questions that you guys can fire at me. But that right there is going to do it for today. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.